Hi, this is Jack Lifton, and this is an Investor Intel interview with Brent Willis, uh, the, the CEO of Voyageur Pharmaceutical. That's is that a correct pronunciation? I'm yeah, not, I'm not a Canadian. Uh, background. Okay. And I th just to say uh, in the beginning, before I, I ask you any questions, I, I really think that you've got a very good business model. I wish I'd thought of it years ago. In any case, can you first give us a synopsis of, of what your company does, and then I'm going to ask you some questions. Sure. Uh, we <clears throat> transformed ourselves from a mineral exploration company to uh, after discovering a, a very pure deposit of barium sulfate in uh, BC, Canada, to a pharmaceutical company. And, and what we realized that is um, based on the markets that we're looking at penetrating, if we can fully integrate the space, we can become extremely competitive in that space. So we're focused on drugs for the uh, radiology industry for barium contrast is used for uh, x-rays and CT scans. And we're also developing um, iodine as well. And our, our motto is from the earth to the bottle, fully integrating the pharmaceutical space with minerals from for our products, which no one else has done in this space. So we think it's going to give us a very competitive uh, advantage moving forward. Thank you. <clears throat> Let me just uh, tell the audience something. Uh, all, everyone, I think, that's watching this has had an x-ray, and probably today an MRI or things like that. And you probably never thought of what are, they, what are they looking at? Not what they're looking for. What are they looking at? Well, your bones are, are uh, calcium and some barium material, and, and they, they stop x-rays so you can see them. But your soft tissue doesn't. So the, a century ago, uh, physicians figured out they had to decorate these soft tissues without killing you so, so, they, could, so they could see from the pattern of, of material deposit in the soft tissue what the soft tissue looked like, looking for tumors and tears and things like that. Well, they, came up, they needed something that was non-toxic. And they, they finally came up with, with the chemical compound barium sulfate. And I, I'm sure that almost all of our viewers have heard the dreaded term barium enema. But in any case, it means that they use this material, barium sulfate, a, a, something found in nature, uh, highly purified to decorate your tissues so they can see them with x-rays and MRI. Now, uh, typically, this material has been available for a long time, and it's used as a filler in adhesives and paints and things like that. But in order to use it medically, it has to be extremely pure. And the best way for that is to start out with a deposit of it in nature that's highly pure, because purification is expensive. However, pure materials are therefore expensive. And I did not know anyone in North America was doing this. I know that we import this, the medical material from China. And so uh, Brent, can, can you tell us the markets you're looking at and what, how much material you're producing, plan to produce and, and what you think your penetration of that market will be. And, and let me point out, you're a domestic supplier, domestic North American supplier. Uh, are you the first? No, this uh, we're just repeating a business model by a company called uh, Easy EM Canada, who uh, took a, a, depo a depleted deposit uh, that was used for oil field drilling out in Nova Scotia, and they took that and they created uh, a high purity barium sulfate for contrast, and they actually mm -hmm. built up a, a very strong business and and began to monopolize the North American market. Okay. Uh, they were bought out by uh, Braco Diagnostics, who now have a monopoly in this market. So we, we have one major competitor that we're going up against as we uh, launch into this. Um, and uh, our current market studies, uh, just for one product alone that we're, we did a marketing study and we 
to determine what market should we penetrate first. And we decided that it should be the uh, CT abdominal scan market, mm -hmm. where uh, currently about $75 million uh, a year in the US is being consumed. And uh, that market is actually about 188 million with uh, iodine as the other oral product that's used. So we're moving forward on developing better contrast products that we hope to displace the iodine side of this market as well. So um, as far as mining goes, it's uh, very simple. This is a, uh, a hydrothermal vein that's uh, on surface um, that runs up the side of a mountain and uh, We've drilled it to uh, maximum depth of 90 meters, average depth 50 meters that we've drilled. Uh, we've only drilled on 220 meters of 700 meters of strike that we have to date. And uh, we've proven up just uh, a resource of uh, approximately over 130,000 tons of uh, measured and indicated, or sorry, indicated and inferred. So we have a, 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 a preliminary economic assessment ongoing with SGS uh, Minerals who Canada, or sorry, SGS Canada, who will be uh, presenting that here in the coming month. We should have our, our PEA completed. And uh, from that, we're going to move forward on building our plant and getting into production. It, you're, uh, you're going to be producing uh, medical items. You're going to need approval by the health authorities in the various countries. Have you begun that process? Yeah, we've developed uh, five products, uh, all have been approved by Health Canada. Mm -hmm. um, there was uh, a delay on moving forward into the U.S. market with the FDA because the, uh, uh, there was a lawsuit. Um, uh, barium sulfate has been regulated as a drug, and uh, the lawsuit uh, that has changed to being regulated as a device. So oh. we are currently working with the FDA right now. And we are going to determine with them what classification of device it will be. Uh, we're trying to move forward with it as a 510K, but uh, all of that is coming together. The FDA, um, you know, they have a mandate to break up monopolies. So they are moving forward with us to try to get us into the market and lower our cost to get into market. So you're, you're saying that at the present time, there's just one supplier in the market. There's, there's really one supplier in North America. There's a, uh, few others that sell barium sulfate um, and uh, there's only one uh, supplier of natural occurring barium for pharmaceutical barium sulfate and that's out of China. So mm -hmm. um, everyone else is using uh, uh, what is called blank fix, which is an expensive chemically uh, synthetically made uh, product. And that's a point I think that the our viewers have to know. Um, barium sulfate used in, in Com, you know, commercial applications as an additive is not very expensive. What's what's the difference in 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 selling price and and cost between material for medical use and let's say industrial use? Well, a, a, a lower end industrial barium sulfate would be approximately around five hundred to seven hundred dollars a ton, mm -hmm. and uh, pharmaceutical is uh, roughly. Uh, you know, FOB over in China would be between three and four thousand dollars a ton, but with freight rates right now, it's uh, you know you gotta you gotta add on another uh, anywhere from eight hundred to a thousand dollars a ton just to get it across the ocean due to the uh, supply constraints that's going on. Are there any uh, tariffs assessed against Chinese products in Canada or the U.S.? No, I, no, I do not believe so. It's, okay. Uh, no. um, do you you plan to service just the, the North American market? No, we are uh, currently we are working on um, as we move forward with our FDA application. We're using this application, working with a few consulting companies, and we're also at the same time creating a a, a master drug file for the EU. Um, it is regulated differently over there, so each country regulates things differently. Like in Canada, it's regulated as a health uh, supplement type of product. And is your purification process uh, proprietary, patentable, or or is it pretty much a standard? It's uh, it's fairly standard. Uh, we are doing some tweaks to it. We're we're going to see if we can't 
create a patent around it, but that's going to take some time. We're mm. going to build our plant first. And, you know, as, as most people understand that uh, doing a bench scale test is one thing. Uh, once we get into uh, building our plant, we're going to do some tweaking and see what we can do to really uh, see if we can not create some really special products from there. Are you going to build a manufacturing plant in Canada? That's our plan right now. Um, you know, it's, uh, it makes sense to, uh, you know, we're based in Calgary, so we'll probably build it in Calgary. So we're hands-on. My brother and I, we've been in this business for over 30 years and uh, we've man managed and we've rebuilt plants and uh, we have a lot of experience processing barium sulfate. So we're going to be hands-on trying to tweak this into uh, a real special product. Well, uh, I, I, I think you're really on to something, quite frankly. And um, what you, I don't want to use a bad analogy, but let's say I think you've picked a rose in, in, in a garden that, you know, needs weeding. And uh, it's, it's amazing to me. I guess that the, the real key thing here is that you've discovered a, a serious barium sulfate deposit in uh, British Columbia, correct? Yeah, people really need to understand how rare that is because uh, barium sulfate is associated with base metals and it's extremely rare to find a deposit that doesn't have any metal contamination. So um, it, it's a very unique property. I, I agree with you. I've, I've never heard of such, such a discovery in, in, in North America. So uh, we, we wish you luck and I'd like you to keep in touch with us because I, I want to know how you're proceeding and how, thing, how things are working with your company. Once yeah, again, it's Voyageur Pharmaceuticals, correct? That's right. Voyageur Pharmaceuticals. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Brent. Thank, Thank you, you very much for your time.